4-H is often associated with a summer fair and livestock, but 4-H activities take place all year long, and the majority of 4-H members don't set their sights on a livestock project at all. MTN's John Riley has more. Each year at summer fairs, you can see cows, sheep, chickens, and other livestock that have been raised by 4-H club members. But in addition to outdoor projects, 4-H offers an array of indoor projects like civics, robotics, photography, and shooting sports. In fact, many club members like Mason Manning don't do a livestock project at all. We don't have much room at our house, so we can't really afford to have a cow in the backyard. Coordinator Vanessa Olson says in Lewis and Clark County, shooting sports are the most popular 4-H project, with more than 135 kids taking part, 50 of whom are brand new to the program. They didn't have shooting sports when I was in 4-H, so you had the typical indoor projects and the outdoor projects. I think it's just fantastic the way it's expanding and and people are learning that 4-H isn't just the livestock animals. The kids develop marksmanship skills, have the opportunity to compete, and learn self-discipline and personal responsibility. Olson's daughter, Mariah, went to the National Air Pistol Competition for 4-H last year. And while she's certainly proud of the marksman skills she's learned, she's most proud of helping others improve. Yeah, it teaches you a lot of leadership skills. Meeting a lot of newer kids there and helping them start out it's like teaching them how to do it so they can so they can get as good as you if not better 4-h and agriculture will always go hand in hand but even the kids not involved in an animal project say the core values of head heart hands and health are there and they're lucky to have 4-h in their lives definitely it's something that's changed me and all my friends as well Reporting in Helena, John Riley, MTN News. Lewis and Clark County 4-H say everyone is welcome at 4-H and encourage people to reach out if they're interested in joining.